Hi guys and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking, as you can see, at the round function. So it's a short video, but we're going to look at what the round function actually does. So our round function will round up a number or round down a number according to what we tell it to do. It will also, you know, round up to a particular amount of decimal places according to what we say. Okay, now the formula reads as such, equals round, open bracket, and then we've got to put in our cell reference. So let's say it's cell C3. And then we've got to put in how many digits we, we want it rounded up to. So let's say for argument's sake it was 2. We close our bracket and we hit enter. Now obviously at the moment it's going to say 0 because I don't have anything in C3. If I go to C3 and I type in 93.2, what's going to happen? It's wrong there because it wants a comma. And you can see it stays on 93.2, right? Remember, what did I say here? I said to two decimal places. How many decimal places do I have? One. So let's change that. Let's go 2, 5, 4, 6. And now it rounds it to 93.25. I can also say, well, round this to one decimal place. You see what it does now? Instead of 93.25, it now rounds it up, 93.3. What if I say zero? What's it going to do then? You can see it now rounds it to the nearest whole number. So if I had to change that to a four, it stays. So if I go and change that to a five, you can see it rounds it up, and it's now at 94. So please remember, I just want to open PowerPoint so I can show you this. The format of that formula is going to be equals round open bracket the cell reference and then, for example, our zero decimal places. Now, this is important because you will find that we will use the round function in conjunction with others. So let me give you an example. I can use the average function, right? And let's say I'm going to get the average of whatever is in cell C4. But I want to round up that number. So I'm going to apply the same principle, and the same layout that I have here to my function. Instead of saying equals average, I'm now going to go equals round. I'm going to open my bracket. Then what am I going to round up? Whatever the answer is to average C4. Going to put in my comma or my semicolon, put in my zero and close my bracket. Now, what have I done? I'm going to round whatever this answer is to zero decimal places. All right. So, guys, that's what the round function is. That's how it works. And you can see we can use it on its own and in conjunction with other formulas.